Hello there. Problem three on page 47. A car dealer finances simple interest on car loans at a fixed rate of 4.2% per year for three years. How much interest will a person pay if she borrows $13,999 for a new car? How much interest will a person pay? That's the question. The bare bones is the word interest. So let's back up into our problem and see what we have. I see 4.2%. I see um, the principal. I need time, guys, for us to be able to do this. And there it is, three years. So this is yet another formula. This is the interest setup. So I didn't draw the box for you because I didn't want to give you the clue. I wanted you to figure out how to do that for yourself. But we know that 4.2%, um, that's the rate. And if I move that decimal two places, that's going to be 042. The principal is 13999. And time is three years. I got a question the other day from a student, a very good question. Why don't I use commas in my numbers like that one? And the answer is twofold. For one thing, it's too tempting on my calculator to press a decimal if I see a comma. I want to be sure if I'm using a decimal that I mean to. And the other reason is, is a personal one. I have dyslexia, and the commas really get me confused sometimes. I know that sounds crazy. If you have dyslexia, you, you probably will understand. If you don't, you may not. But um, any extra signs just tend to get in my way. So it was a very good question, and I love questions. I want you to always feel free to ask me anything about math and to challenge me, if you believe I've done something wrong, please tell me, because I do make mistakes, and I don't want you to feel like you can't say anything. Uh, I want you to tell me. So, anyway, here's the formula. I equals PRT, and I do always write that. Don't be lazy, and you won't lose things that you need. Um, I have learned that the hard way in my lifetime. And then time is three. And I'm just going to put this entire thing into my calculator carefully. And it looks like we're coming up with 1763.874. So this one will have to be rounded. And it's going to stay the same. So 1763.8. 7 is your interest. And that's the question, how much interest? So when I go to highlight my answer, I'll know that I've answered it correctly. How much interest will the person pay? It doesn't ask me for the payback. It just asks me for the interest. Okay, number four. A student borrows $3,000 at 5% fixed annual interest for two years. What will the payback amount be? So the question is, what will the payback amount be? And the bare bones of this is payback. Back up into your problem, there's the percentage rate. For some reason, I'll always go for that first. There's the principal, and I need the time, two years. So we're doing another interest problem, and I will put my pieces of the puzzle down here. I do this whether you guys are watching or not. 3,000 is the principal. 5.7%, I have to change it to the decimal, so give it two places, and then the seven. Time is in years, that's two, so we are good to go here. I equals PRT, I equals principal, rate, time, 
time calculator. <laughs> 3,000 times 0 .057 times 2. I'm getting interest of $342. So I look back at my question, and it doesn't say what will the interest be. It says what will the payback be. So I have to take the interest plus the principal. Please, please, my friends, read these carefully because they will get you on the reading. It's usually not the math that people miss. It's the reading. So work this, you, you notice that I do every one of these the same way. I highlight the question and then I start backtracking through the problem. And for me personally, that's the best way to do it. But get yourself a system. Don't just go at these hoping you'll get the right thing. Make a system and you'll get the right answer. Okay, I will see you back for problems five and six in the next clip.